All right, so today what we're going to look at is uh, we're going to take you back to uh, some uh, old history videos or some things that you guys may remember doing in PE, uh, but we're going to go back and do the old windmill. Uh, the windmill 40, 50, 60 years ago was a, was a good uh, warm up uh, you used to see a lot, but uh, it was kind of ballistic in nature where, again, you would see that little little windmill where you would go back and forth, kind of ballistic as a warm up, which is really good. But what I'm going to do today is just kind of go, take a step back and focus uh, and do some um, stability uh, with the shoulder mobility using the band, still using that old exercise, um, but in, again, incorporating a few more things. Um, and again, with the band, we're going to get stability in the shoulder, but you're going to get some overstretch or you're going to get some uh, stretch assists. Uh, so we can really get deep in that stretch, maybe hit the glutes, the hamstrings, some QL, that qu uh, quadratus lumborum, and again, shoulder stability. So um, looking at that exercise, we're looking at that stretch, mobility, whatever you want to call it, functional stretch, functional activities, uh, functional exercise. Uh, what we're going to look at is, is you're just going to take that band and you're going to step on it and it's going to be behind you and you're going to go to opposite shoulder. So I'm on my right leg, going to my left shoulder. And there comes the, st the stability, so the stability of that shoulder, and then we're going to get that, um, that QL, hamstring, glute action in there uh, with the stretch as we flex forward, get some rotation uh, through that stretch. So, here we go, we've got the shoulder stability, I like to put my arm out, just kind of know where uh, parallel is, and I like to rotate to the center, and then we're going to go over into that windmill, Working on the stability of that shoulder, trying to get over to the floor, and there's our windmill, getting a lot of stretch through that hamstring, through that QL, back there in the back. So from the side, what it's gonna look like is, there's the stability, working on that shoulder stability, nice and strong. I'm gonna come and rotate as I do that. That band is going to give me some assist in that rotation, so we can get a little overstretch rather than just kind of turning our body it's going to pull down and as, as I rotate, and then I'm going to forward flex and go to the floor there, keeping legs straight. So we get a good stretch in that hamstring, good stretch in the glute right there. And I'm working, and you're going to, again, you're going to feel that stretch through that QL back here, uh, just above the glutes and the low back. A lot of people have back pain there. We've, we've talked about that QL in previous videos. So there's that stretch. And again, switching sides, all that would look like is I'm going to step on it, making sure that that band is underneath the arch of that foot, going across to the opposite side, left foot, right arm, going up, coming, rotating, allowing that band to pull that rotation around. Arm is directly above, stabilizing the shoulder. And I'm going to hinge over right there. So that's what it looks like from there. Again, rotate. So you can see here, I'm gonna rotate forward, band pulls me around, arm is straight, hinging over, legs are straight, right there. Hold that stretch, breathe through it, up and back. So again, you're gonna hit quite a few areas, hamstring, glute, QL, shoulder. If we've got tight pecs, you're gonna feel that stretch through the pecs as well. Uh, again, you got to find your band that's not too strong, uh, so you, you've got to be able to stabilize above your head first before you can step forward and go uh, anywhere with that stretch. So uh, look at look, looking for a thin band that you're able to maintain while you do that stretch. Try that stretch. I know it was a little long today, but a lot of explanation. Hopefully uh, you'll get something out of it.